Hello and welcome to this Accomplished Beginners Blender tutorial number 13. In this tutorial we will add lights to this vehicle. I'll press um, 7 to look at it from the top and uh, I'll, I need to select the vehicle because I have the grill selected which is a separate object tab and the face mode invisible select and B box select so I'll I will cut this now, delete all the faces there. So I control three to look at it from the front and have the opaque selector on. This which I will do now is I will add, uh, I'm in, I need to be in edge mode. I will add shift A, a circle, which needs to be 12. See if it's yeah, it's selected, and uh, R Y nine zero. And I'm rotating it in Y direction, so I'll pull it out to where we need to have it. Control three to look at it from the front. This is uh, the main light uh, headlight, so I'll scale that down to some reasonable level there, and I'll just I will just push this in arbitrarily wherever I want it. Uh, but I'll first manufacture it or model it. So there you have it. And uh, we'll do E for extrude. No. E. And pull it that way. Just want to make sure that I don't have any unnecessary. No, everything's good. And just once more. Then I'll select this and I do E for extrude, push it forward, scale it down a little bit, E again, scale it down, push it back, then E, scale, scale zero, and do Alt M. So now I have the basis for the light and uh, what I'll do ne next is I'll select all of that, the entire part of that mesh. I create a vertex group called headlight. And it's left. And I'll assign that, deselect, select. So now I have that as a vertex group. Then I'll, I'll shift to face mode and uh, opaque selector. And I alt right mouse click and shift alt right mouse click these two materials and I'll add a no I'll add uh, the aluminum I'll use the aluminum material on that and then I'll select this which needs to be some kind of a glass so I'll add a, a new material and I think I'll keep that um, just as simple as possible for the time being. Uh, I'll let it emit some light, could help a little bit and be translucent and some C transparency. And that's about it. Maybe I can have it just a tad bluish like that. There you go and uh, assign that. Let's look at this. Okay that's the look of that and I think I'm good with that. So now we have our light and I'm looking at it from above and uh, 
I'll go back to the Verdicts group selected, and then I'll do a Shift D for duplication. I push that out a little bit, and I scale that down first, like that, and then scale Shift X because I want to, and the, because that would be my parking light. Control three to look at it from the front. So I'll create a new vertex group for that. We call it fog light. Fog. Dot L and assign that and deselect. Okay, that worked. So now I have these two lights. I want to place them. So I'll select that one and uh, push that in. Like this, and then uh, I'll select the headlight. No? Okay, yeah. Uh, so now I happen to have both on the same vertex group. So what to do now is to do this. You uh, go to the fog. You can go to the fog light. Press A to deselect everything. Select that fog light. Then open up the headlight without doing anything more. Just highlight the headlight and then remove those that are selected. So we do this and uh, headlight select. So that selects the right one now, and the fog light selects the fog light. Okay. So we have the headlight and. I want to push that in too. So there you go. And this is just an arbitrary placement. You can find whatever placement you want. I'm just utilizing this ability to have, so, so to speak, loose parts of the mesh. So there you go. Next thing we need is, uh, I want to look at it from front, control three. We need uh, directional lights. So we'll shift a, a and I'll add a cube. And that's going to be around there. And I want to do W subdivide twice. I'm just working on this. Um, I'm going to need to be in edge mode, just like this. And this. Scale that in C direction. I want it pretty loose on this side. And then I'll take that one over there. So I want that this side of it to be tighter and uh, this side here to be looser, to be softer, have a smoother edge. Okay, there you go, and uh, I'll have to, I made a mistake there, I need to select this entire thing here. Okay, there you go, I need to move that out, and I will also have to create this, um, this vertex group called uh, direct, directional.l front. It needs to be front directional. And uh, assign that to that. Yes, that worked. I also want to add material to it. I'm just working on it just like this. I'll change the size soon enough. Uh, add a material, a new material that I made orange. Now and emit and somewhat translucent and I'm just trying to hurry this assign that these like so go back to vertex groups and select it control three and then scale So 
it's easier to work with it in that in that size. Now we have to place it and scale it into position. Almost like looks like it's uh, all twisted, but it's not. So scale it and Y a little bit. And then scale it in X. Just keep working with it. I have to move the other other light a little bit. Yeah, that could work. See how that goes. Yeah. That's sufficient. Okay. I'm good with that. Then we need to I'll look at it from the top. And I have that uh, selected and then I'll do shift D for duplication and pushed it all the way to the back. And I'll do this, push it all the way over here so I can easily select or deselect it. And uh, okay, then I'll create a new Called rear directional. And then I assign that. And here you go. And if this doesn't look the way you would like it, that's just fine. I'm just here to kind of go through the outline of, of the things that you probably want to have done. Uh, and also the other thing is now I want to shift D duplicate this and um, create a new group called uh, rear light real light uh, dot L. And for it, I want red. So I create a new material. I should name these, but for now, I'm just trying to get it done as quickly as possible. Shoot blend for this. And the uh, translucency is somewhat, and a little bit C transparent. And assign that. Let's see, did we have that? Okay, assign it to the rear light. I forgot to do that. These lights. Like, okay, good. So, and what I need to do here now is just to rotate it RX 180 degrees. And then I want to grab this end of it. this and these two there and then I can just pull on those like that I'm actually going to merge them together like that this okay that's it and there's one more light that I need this is becoming a really long tutorial and anyway, I'll go with the fog light here, and I'll, okay, we want to make sure everything is deselected, and um, I select it, I'll do a shift D for duplication, push that back, and I call it, create a new group and call that backup light, backup 
L and assign that. And then we need to just turn it around 180 degrees, uh, rotate Y 180, and I think I'm going to just set it in like this. So it becomes somewhat of a cluster there. So that's, I think it's nicer to have it maybe in inset entirely like this. Yeah, I think so. So, so that's it. And I can do this. I can just do it. Um, select everything and do W and uh, shade smooth, just in case something isn't. And then we'll go to this, add the mirror modifier for the Y axis. And um, apply that. Look at this and render it. So there now we have lights on it. And the next tutorial I'll put bumpers and the uh, tailpipe and that would be it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this took a long time, but it's just there are so many little things you have to do that it just takes time. Thank you for watching. Th thank you for patience. Like, subscribe, favorite, whatever. Thank you. Bye-bye.